Hey guys, welcome back to um, our Natural Panic Tutorials, episode 2. So, we're back on the faction server that we set up last time with Whitelist. So you can see um, some people here have uh, tried to join the server, so it's blocked them. I don't know why it's saying that, it's not, normally it says the username, but it says you're not whitelist on the, whitelisted on the server for them, so they can't get on. So we know that's working properly. So, this week, um, well this episode, I think we're going to go into setting up bucket and um, plugins. So the first thing we want to do is uh, stop our server. So just let it, wait for it to stop. My server takes a little while to stop, I'm not sure why. Right, so next what we want to do is go to game mods and you see we've got vanilla, uh, bucket, technic, feed the beast, ATL and forge. Uh, these are all different types of game mods. So we've got the vanilla Minecraft once it's from the latest. Uh, then we've got Bucket, which is the mod for, which is basically like a mod for servers, which lets you use plugins, which are kind of server mods, but the client doesn't have to use them. Then we've got Technic, which is the Technic pack. It has lots of mod packs on it. And then the Feed the Beast and the ATL launcher are both other mod packs, other uh, kind of launchers for mod packs. Um, and the Forge is a new feature they've added. Uh, before it was very hard to install Forge, you had to use um, Pixelman and then uh, delete Pixelman. But now they've got latest Forge versions uh, ready for you to just quickly install. So what you want to do is go to Bucket. You want to choose um, Bucket is quite Bucket is Bucket. It's what it is for installing plugins and that. But what you want to use is Spigot because Spigot is a faster version of Bucket. It basically, they've took Bucket and made it faster, got rid of lag. So we want to install Spigot 1.7.5 or whatever version you want. You can use Bucket if you want to, if there isn't the right version of Spigot. Um, so now we have Spigot installed, we can start our server. So it will generate the plugins folder and everything else we need. And um, just install Spigot or Bucket. So that's it. We've got our Bucket server set up. So you see we've got Spigot down here. Uh, and Bucket where I'm at and all that. And now we've got our plugins folder. So this is where all our plugins will go. So that's how you set up a Bucket server. Now I'll go into how to install plugins. So you go to the plugins tab here and you search for any plugin you want so let's do essentials essentials is the first plugin is a plugin you definitely need on a server it has the essential commands for any server ban kick uh lots of stuff slash back which is a lovely command so you can go back to your death point instantly so what you do is click install plugin here or you can download the plugin straight to your computer and you can just upload it into the plugins file. And then here it's got um well it's got the name of it, it's got the version, it's got the set, it says semi normal or beta or whatever. The description, which doesn't have a description, the file name, essentials.zip. Uh the last time it was updated, updated, which is good to see if it's compatible with the latest version, because if it was up last updated twenty eleven then it's obviously not going to be Power. And it's got the website URL, the bucket URL, which are normally the same thing, and then the direct download URL, which is just the download link that uh, the download plugin uses. So what I want to do is go to, and it's also got all the commands in the plugin. Uh, so I want to go to install plugin, we'll click that. Uh, are you sure you want to do it? We click install. And now it's going to install essentials for us. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so it's finished, we can click close. We'll go to File Manager to check it's there. Have a look in plugins. So yeah, we've got essentials.jar, essentials.zip, and all of our essentials, uh chat, anti build protection, all that. So all we have to do now is click restart and we have essentials. Just see if it works. Uh in the console it should say um that it's worked. So I'll sh the feature I showed you last time, uh, here we go. So we'll pause the console so it can't host. And if you see here, um, enabling essentials version 2.13.1. So we have the plugins successfully installed. Um, 
So that's our server all set up with Essentials. So uh, I will do some tutorials on how to configure Essentials and other plugins. But for now I'm just going to concentrate on using Nitro Panel and setting up your server. So thanks for watching this guys. So you should now have your Bucket server or Spigot server set up. And now you can start installing as many plugins as you want. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.